Hello everyone, we will continue the topic validations and substitutions and in the previous video, yes, we started with the practical part of substitution and based upon that we created a substitution, we activated the substitution. Then I told you the difference between GGB1 and OBBH transaction code. Now, whenever you are going for entry through OBBH transaction code, the substitutions are getting stored into T001Q table. When we covered the validations at that time, table name was T001T. Now, what we will do? Same to same process. Now, I will put a breakpoint into this SAP function module. We will understand the whole process in the debugging mode. So if some confusion is there, it will be cleared automatically. At the time of validation, we have the function module G underscore VSR underscore validation underscore call. Now I will go for this function module. You all know you can open a transaction code through, you can open a function module through SC37 transaction code. So I pass the name of the function module. I will put a breakpoint. I will simply put a breakpoint and we will understand in debugging mode. I will put a breakpoint. Breakpoint is there. Now I will create a document or I will create a accounting document through FB01 transaction code. Now, I will go for posting date. I will go for document type, yes. Now, for company code DE11, and if the document type is WE, the document header text will be always goods receipt document. Now, what I will do, I will put enter. Now you can see system entered into debugging mode. Our validations are not active. If you remember, we made it inactive. So you can see now the breakpoint stopped into this particular function module. Now in desktop three, you can see, you can see the current call I am into this particular function module. Desktop two, desktop two will show you the stack. What are the various things called one by one? So what I will do, if I will double click on to FI underscore substitution underscore header function module, you can see in this function module, SAP is calling this function module based upon this if condition. And you can see this if condition is for which table? T001Q table. If you remember, when we cover the topic validation, at that time, the table name was T001D. And SAP is clearly saying your active should be one or two. One means active, two means active, no batch input. Anyways, there's no need to go into detail of no batch input. So I will just save this brief point. Now I will come again into the debugging mode and I will show you. I will just exit. I will go for yes. Now I will go to FB01 transaction code. I will put a document date, document type, yes. Now I will go for enter. Now firstly, breakpoint will stop onto that if condition. It's a very good practice. If you want to see the flow, how the control came onto that particular function module, you can check through desktop two. I'll go to desktop three. Now you can see substitution, but the name of our substitution H text. If I will show you in GGB1 transaction code, we gave the name of the substitution H text. If I will go for financial accounting, you can see H text. Now in that we have step, step says two things, prerequisite and substitution. Now I will do F8 because anyways in this function module, I have a breakpoint. 
so control will stop there and sap is passing the things suppose if you see this is our substitution name what is our step what is our call up point triple zero one triple zero one means document header we have we have put a substitution on the document header i will do f8 now i am inside this particular function module i will go to the last of this function module if you remember during substitute during validation we have a subroutine e15 underscore validation underscore call if i will show you that function module same to same process SAP followed the common practice. Suppose if I will go for validation call function module. At that time we entered into that subroutine. I will just scroll down. You can see at that time it was E14 underscore validation underscore call. Now it is E15 underscore substitution underscore call. I will just put a breakpoint and I will do F8. So that control will stop here and SAP provided documentation also call the substitution. Now this is SAP program. Now I will go inside this subroutine using F5. Now inside this subroutine, we have another subroutine. In validation also, we did same to same thing. Now I will do F8 so that the control will stop here this is your substitution name yes h text is our substitution name and sap added a prefix before that sub underscore during validation the prefix was val underscore now this is our program sap program if i will go inside this subroutine now you can see here we will be able to find two things only one is your prerequisite and one is the substitution. During validation, we have three things there. We have the prerequisite, we have the check and we have the message. And here we have only only two things. What is first thing? Prerequisite and another is substitution. Now you can see if I will put a breakpoint here. Firstly, we will see our prerequisite is true or not. Control stopped here. I will go inside this subroutine. And you can see clearly, clearly it is coming. We put two prerequisite condition. Company code DE11 and your document type WE. If both are true, only in that case SAP will give that true. Have we provided the company code DE11? Yes, we provided have we provided the document type WE? Yes, we provided. Now you can see we have the true result. We have the true result. Now if we have the true result, it will simply simply replace this particular column BKTXT document header text with which particular value goods receipt to document. If you remember, this is the prerequisite. This is the substitution which we provided. Now I will do F8. Now I will just post a document. Now people will see. We are not able to see here. Just I'll say I will just create the document. I will save the document. Then we will be able to see. Suppose I'm going for some postal key. This for these details, you need to connect with your functional person because my test system data will vary from your system data. I will put some amount. I will just save. You can see document posted. If I will display this document. Now your document header text is at the header level. If I will go to header. You can see what is the document header text goods receipt document. You can check in table also. I can go for a BKPF table and I can check there also. 
पी के पी एफ आई विल गो टू द कंटेंट्स वट वॉज द डॉक्यूमेंट नंबर फाइव ऑल जीरो सेवन डी इलेवन फाइव ऑल जीरो सेवन टू जीरो टू फोर If I will go for execute, if I will display, we will be able to see what is document had the text goods receipt document. So what is the summary of this particular video? Important video because it will help you to understand. Because it is not a game or it is not a magic that we did something and SAP is doing. In the back end, there is a corresponding logic for the same. So what we did, we put a breakpoint into this SAP function module. We went to desktop two, and we checked the if condition. If the T double zero one Q in that table, if the substitution is active, only in that case this particular function module will trigger. Now inside this function module, we enter into one subroutine, and we are able to see the code of the prerequisite. and then we are able to see the substitution code also then we post a document i showed you the document header text and we are able to see in the table also now in the next video we will go for further detail understanding of the debugging what we will do now i will deactivate this particular substitution then we will see it will not trigger at all then i will activate both validation both validation and substitution if you remember previously i deactivated the validation now our substitution is only active now i will make both the active and we will understand firstly validation is triggering or substitution is triggering that is important point again from the interview perspective so that's it in this video thank you